So I begin with Don Miguel Ruiz, his four agreements. The first one, be impeccable with your word. The Hadith of the world, which includes Bukhari, Muslim, the Bible, all kinds of narratives and narrations, YouTube, Wikipedia, the internet, everything, everywhere, all narrations, narratives. It's only by being impeccable with the word that we can sift through the deception, the lies. So in speaking of which, I find it very interesting. This has been resonating with me for some time, the Lord's Prayer within the Bible. So let your kingdom come, let thy will be done. So again, there's, there's going to be lots of wisdom, lots of valuable pieces within all of the narratives, but it's about being impeccable with the word and using the impeccable word that we can, that we do have access to today. Being impeccable, we can see that yes, this is true. Let Allah's will be done. Let the Creator's will be done, not mine. That's what I'm here for today. Not my will be done, but let Allah's will be done. But the reason why I bring this up is because let your kingdom come on earth. Yeah, Let your kingdom come on earth. Is there supposed to be some kind of kingdom on earth for a speci special group of people? Is there anything like this from the Creator that we're supposed to fight for a kingdom or a piece of land on earth? That there's supposed to be some arrival of some kind of paradise on earth, some heaven on earth, some kingdom of God on earth? Is there any such thing? Well, let's see. So I begin with this, this verse from the Quran. Salamun alaikum. So this is the greeting in heaven. This is the greeting in the hereafter. Dar, so this home, this home, this word dar in the Quran is always in reference to home of the hereafter. There's many things that are referring to the same thing, but given a different description. But dar always is in reference to the hereafter. So I bring this up because we are people, nas, annas, ints. And it's interesting that as people, that within the word or the Arabic word annas or ints, people, it's very close to ints. We are created as people who are capable of forgetting. So if we are created as people who are capable of forgetting, are we supposed to be? Are we supposed to be men who remember? The Arabic word for male seems to be connected to the word for remembering, to mention, to remind, to recall. So if we are created, an nas, humankind, humanity people, as people who are capable of forgetting, we have this weakness, that's how we're designed, we forget. So is it possible that it's the man's duty, or even woman's duty, yeah? man, woman, mankind, humankind, whoever it is, is it possible that it's the man's duty to remind, as it says here, mention, remind. And if it is our duty to remind, to remember, to mention frequently, then where should we go for that? Allah has called the Quran a dhikr. A dhikr. The Quran full of a dhikr. This is another name for the Quran. Again, I just mentioned, so Darus Salam, we're going to come to that. But there's different names given to the same thing. So the Quran, full of a dhikr, full of the reminders. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلْذِكْرِ فَهَلْ مِمْ مُدَّكِرِ We made the Quran easy to remember. So is there anyone who is going to be mindful? مُدَّكِرِ Mindful. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلْذِكْرِ فَهَلْ مِمْ مُدَّكِرِ This is what it is. The Quran has been created as a reminder. As a reminder. So is there anyone who is going to be mindful? And it repeats several times. And we have made the Quran easy to memorize or remind or to remember. So is there anyone who will be mindful? People today are behaving in a way as though Jerusalem is the way to success both in heaven and on earth. Guide us to the straight path we have in the Quran. 
repeated many times in people's prayers daily. Two of the most important ways of being on the straight path being that Iblis said that he's going to be sitting on that path, waiting for everyone. This is what Iblis said with Allah, in the conversation with Allah, that I'm going to sit on your straight path. So many people think that they are doing what is right. But are they? So this is what we have, the straight path. We're all looking for that straight path. And this is what Iblis said, I'm going to sit on your straight path. So what is one of the key things about being on the straight path? It's about being grateful. Because he said that most of them are going to be not grateful. So they're going to be ungrateful. And if you do your study in the Quran, you will find that shukr, not being grateful, is doing kufr. Not being grateful is doing shirk. Shirk and kufr are absolutely connected to being ungrateful. And another key part of being on the straight path is being sincere. Al-Mukhlasin. Again, connected to the straight path. Qala hadha siratun alayya mustaqeen. So the straight path is intricately connected to being sincere. And how can you be sincere if you say that you follow a book, but you don't study the words and you don't actually follow the words, but you follow the words of men or you follow the words of narratives away from the Quran? How can you be sincere? How can you be grateful? They're both connected. If you are grateful to a piece of work, then you will quote that piece of work. Anyone's piece of work, if you are grateful for that, you will quote that, you will not misquote that, you will study that, you will repeat that exactly as, as it is. That's being sincere, that's being grateful. And these are the two key parts of being on the straight path. Not being, not doing shirk, not doing kufr, not covering up the truth, being impeccable with your word, being impeccable with the impeccable word, being sincere. So the way to be on the straight path is by being grateful, not doing shirk, not doing kufr, not covering up the truth, not associating anything false with Allah. That is the way to the straight path. And being sincere is another key way to being on the straight path. Those who are on the straight path are called to Darus Salam. Those who are on the straight path are called to Darus Salam. Those who are on the straight path are called to Darus Salam. Here we have it here. What is Darus Salam? It's paradise. Even say international agrees. What is Darus Salam? Paradise. It says by being on the straight path, by being grateful, by being sincere, that you stand a chance in gaining paradise. Darus Salam. If Allah meant Darus Salam anywhere on earth, then we would have even the slightest indication in the Quran that Darus Salaam is a place on earth. You can check the context of any one of these. It's got nothing to do with anything on earth, but everything to do with the hereafter. Darus Salaam is about the hereafter. Being guided on the straight path is being guided to success in the hereafter. As it says here, Fiya Khalidun, abiding in it forever. Ulaika Ashabul Jannah. It's all connected. Darus Salam, Jannah here, Khalidun, eternity, forever. This is all about the hereafter. And it's and it's directly connected to the straight path. Siratim Mustaqim. Darus Salam is connected to Siratim Mustaqim and the hereafter. Again, here, Darus Salam and Sirat al-Mustaqim. Hada Sirat al-Mustaqim. Hada Sirat al-Rabbika Mustaqima. Darul Akhira. Here we have. This is now an indication that Dar is always used for the hereafter in the Quran. Darul Akhira. The final home with Allah. This is the final home. Darul Akhira. Darul hereafter. The hereafter. The afterlife. The afterworld. Darul Akhira. And very interesting, people who think that the paradise is for them 
to the exclusion of other people. And very interesting again, those who are misguided, they claim that they will be forgiven. And they do not study its contents. Interesting. Did they not study its contents? Did they not uphold the truth? Did they not uphold the Kitab Allah? Darul Akhira, again. So in this one, we have the context. We reserve it to those who seek no superiority on earth, nor corruption. Darul Qarar. So as you can see here, again, the word used, Dar Qarar. Akira, you can see here. Here, Darul Qarar. So Dar is always speaking about the hereafter. Darul Qarar. Darul Akira. Darul Salam. Darul Khuld. Home of eternity. Darul Muqama. In the final standing position. Darul Muqama. So hold fast to that which is transmitted to you. Indeed, you are on the straight path. So this is just a message to those who are on the truth, not to the demons who are looking to pounce and attack. This is just a reminder for the like-minded who are on the truth. Hold fast to that which is transmitted to you. Indeed, you are on Suratim Mustaqim. Despite the masses not following it, despite the masses following the madness on the news and what they're taught and how they're manipulated by the politics. I have finished this chapter, I have perfected this verse. And, it, and indeed it, the Quran, surely is knowledge for the hour. So do not be insincere about her. Yeah, about her, the hour. Do not be insincere about the hour. Follow the Quran and follow it. Hada Surat Mustaqim. This is the straight path. And when we directed to you a party of the jinn, so actually this one is Nafran. This is some kind of renegade, some kind of some kind of soldier gone awol from the jinn, you could say. So when someone, an outcast of the jinn. When an outcast from the jinn listened to the Quran, what is it that they knew about about the Quran? Even the jinn know about the Quran. What do they know? That this guides, that this is the truth, just like what was given to Musa alayhi salam. This is guiding to the truth and to tariqim mustaqim, to a straight path, to a straight way or a straight road. As we can see, the Quran, Allah does use different words to describe the same thing, but we can see that it's this Quran that even the outcasts from the jinn or the believers from the jinn, the renegades, the ones gone AWOL from their general way, can see when they hear this Quran that this is just like what was given to Musa alayhi salam. This is the truth. So follow it. This is the straight path. Don't do shirk. Don't do kufr. Don't follow the mainstream narratives or the majority of the people this is the straight path salamu alaykum bima sabartum fa ni'ma uqbad dar daru salam darul akhirah jerusalem is not the kingdom of heaven on earth